morning, everyone, and welcome to the morning show. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning, Bart. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I always love when I get to <laughs> share this. Yeah, great to have you here today. Andy is off. Yes. So slacker. Yeah. Again. Again. Yeah. Again. Again. <laughs> but we're here. Yes. And we so are. are you. Yes, and the weather is doesn't know what it wants to be today. We have a heat advisory now in effect for Jackson County until 9 p.m. We could see heat index values in excess of 105 degrees today. It's humid, it's like, it's thick, it's hot. It's already 76. Yes. Yeah. And Even uh, after that rain, I thought, I mean, did you hear the wind this morning? It was howling, that rain came in. I thought maybe it was gonna push that front out, but not yet, my hair is proof. Yeah, right now the storms are still affecting Metro Detroit. Yeah. And if you have a Delta flight today out of Metro, I have some bad news for you. Oh no. Yes, flooding has closed <gasps> the tunnels leading to the McNamara Terminal. No. You cannot get to the McNamara Terminal. The, From uh, there, can't you go the back way? There's no back way. No. You can't come around the other side? No, no. I guess you can't. Oh I my stars. I-275. This is from uh, Cranes, Detroit, oh I-275, also flooding on I-94. Metro received between two and six inches of rain in the last few hours. Whoa. This is Flat Rock this morning. And oh, bummer. At Metro, over three inches of rain. The eastbound ramp to northbound I-275 closed. <sighs> uh, so all throughout Metro Detroit, serious flooding issues and most importantly for those in our community that might be flying out on Delta today, yep. you cannot get to the McNamara Terminal. Uh -huh. The airport is advising you check with the airline okay. and uh, take their advice. Yeah. So. Oh, what a jo it's always something, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Good thing we have so many great things going on here to get us <laughs> through all these trying times around the world. That's mm -hmm. a stinker. Uh, back to school for uh, everybody. Uh, today uh it was supposed to be yesterday however <laughs> we have uh, western is closed today what yeah concord is closing at 11 a.m jackson christian middle and high schools will have a half day today closing at 11:30. elementary open all day and jps half day today is this a heat, heat. index thing because there's no air conditioning heat Okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, meanwhile, the kids at Lumen Christie are going to be smoldering. There is no AC at Lumen Christie. How is that possible? Well, there's a lot of schools without AC. Well, I mean, that's a more modern structure, though, you would think. But Katie, literally, I had to ring her out after volleyball <laughs> practice yesterday. Oh, wow. In I that bet. gym with no air. That gym's always hot. It is always hot. Yeah. It is. Let's uh, check with Tina and see what the weather looks like right now for uh, us and for back to school. Good morning. It's Tina at Hometown Heating, Cooling, and More. And we are looking forward to those first day of school pictures. Oh, fun. Thanks, Tina, at Hometown Heating, Cooling, and More. Do you have any back to school pictures? I don't know if Karen might have snuck some on there mm. or not. I didn't even think to send them. I'm a little off my game today. Mm. How did Ella's first day go? She loved it. Yeah? Yeah. She's rocking middle school. Mm -hmm. And the boys? Uh, well, Quinn's daycare. He okay. seems to love it. Yeah. Uh, here is the Aww. first day of school with uh, Karen and me and Ella and James. Oh, that's a great picture. James starting third grade, he loves it. Yeah. Yeah, and Ella loves it at seventh grade. So, so. sweet. Oh my gosh, they both look so much like your bo like Andy and yeah. Joey, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do, yeah. Just a beautiful picture. What a great first day. I hope everyone has a successful back to school experience. Yeah. Uh, so much uh, excitement and nervousness. Yes. And now, Jackson Publix got pushed back a day because of that crazy fire on mm -hmm. Tuesday. Did any of you check out JTV's Skycam? I watched it nonstop. Yeah. It um, was obviously uh, affecting the whole community. And really, um, even today, yesterday, True Community Credit Union uh, had to close. Um, they couldn't do the business. Their fiber was cut. Uh, as a result of the fire cleanup. Oh, no. So all the school disruptions, uh, the business and economic disruptions, yep. 
the uh, costs to all the Jackson County Fire Departments yes. and uh, responding agencies, the uh, economic impact from that one fire, an abandoned, empty warehouse. Is there, uh, are there any laws that require an owner to maintain uh, vacant property? I, it, it seems like the state would have a requirement, but definitely the city of mm -hmm. Jackson too. You know, they've got quite a few like landlord and homeowner rules in place. I don't know what the long-term ramifications for the owner will be. Some communities do have um, taxes okay. and uh, fees levied on uh, building owners who do not um, uh, have them occupied. Okay. And uh, the reasoning is it's a blight. It yeah. brings down property values and it can create uh, added costs of the fires. Yeah. Uh, and who knows what else. So. Yeah. I, I have to tell you, at one point during that fire, you know, it took up most of the afternoon and the wind picked up and I thought, oh my God, it's so close mm -hmm. to residential and obviously the businesses. Mm -hmm. I was just so worried with everything we've been dealing with, with forest fires across the globe. I thought, oh my gosh, this could just whoosh. So it could have been worse. Mm -hmm. Our firefighters, incredible heroes. I saw some of them in traffic in the back of pickup trucks trying to you know, like snake around the traffic jam of gawkers mm -hmm. um, to get people there and for everybody to come together the way they did, that part was impressive. Yeah. So you have a fire story? Well, <laughs> Claire and I were sitting at the Grand River Brewery with another um, schoolmate and mother right mm -hmm. after our ha first half day. And the mom was kind of distracted and she's like going over my head and she goes, oh, there's a weird poof of like really dark smoke. It was just like literally just a poof. And then all of a sudden it was like, aliens taking over and this big huge dark so anyway my mom is what i would call an ambulance chaser like if she hears sirens when we were kids we were broke and she'd say get in the car because that would be our entertainment so we we did we got a pretty close-up look but your sky cam really kept the community informed i went by there yesterday one the odor is noxious it's obnoxious and noxious and they're still out there spraying water because mm -hmm. they're worried about something firing back up or about the structure further collapsing. Most strange there uh, there were signs at the property announcing an absolute auction on the property that was scheduled for last week and according to the auction website someone was a successful bidder and bought the property for seventy nine thousand dollars on August 16th a week before the fire. My stars. Weird. Oh my gosh. Very mm. odd. Oh. Well, they'll get to the bottom of it and we'll figure it out. And you know what? Maybe something amazing will go up in its place one day soon. <laughs> yes. Once Let's they talk. clear all of the hazmat <laughs> material yeah. out. It had uh, a lot of contaminants uh, on the property, but the EPA uh, last night said there is no danger. Uh, no hazards to residents found in the building debris or okay. in the smoke. Okay. So we got an all clear. Uh, Great. Yeah. So go ahead. Play on the playgrounds. Play football. Uh, unless it's too hot. Unless it's too hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't believe that between that fire and the chemicals and the heat index, our air quality had to have mm -hmm. been something else this whole week. So be safe. Stay hydrated. Find cool spots. I think Jackson has some cooling stations. Um, set up around the area, and if nothing else, jump on a Jackson City bus. That thing, those things are so nice yeah. and cool and spacious. They even have Wi-Fi. They're awesome. Half a million dollar buses. <laughs> yeah. uh, Consumers Energy wants to uh, help their customers uh, beat the heat, and they are suggesting to uh, run your air conditioner in the morning to cool your home ahead of the midday heat, then uh, during your thermostat during the afternoon and early evening hours up and uh, during peak hours from 2 to 7 that's when the, the load is going to be the, the greatest and do your laundry and dishwashing uh, before 10 a.m. or after 7 p.m. or not at all or not at all, not yeah, at all. just wait take the day off just wait yeah. hang it out to dry actually <laughs> it's hot enough to dry it but it might still be damp from the humidity <laughs> I don't think I'll be turning my air down at 5 or 6 o'clock tonight, though. That's supposed to be the hottest part of the day, like 93, 94 degrees. Yeah. Uh, some things you could do today. Um, you could go to uh, Cherry Creek. They have uh, Steve Berkmeyer playing tonight. The Ella Patio Party sold out. Nice. Yeah. So they, are, uh, they have some challenges right now at the Ella. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's what I, what I hear. Everything okay over there? Well, they have an interim director, and apparently uh, five people were laid off this week. So they are, uh, from what we understand, in the uh, late stages of choosing a new director. Apparently there are four finalists that they've um, settled on that they're vetting okay. right now. So All hopefully right. things will turn around and hmm. it'll be back to uh, being the treasure that it is. I was just going to say, it is such a community treasure. And those yeah. employees are like fixtures there. You know, you love seeing them and greeting them and they do such a wonderful job. So hopefully everybody will be made whole again soon. Yes, hopefully soon. Hopefully it's temporary and uh, everything will be, everyone will live happily ever after. Let's hope so. Mm -hmm. What else is going on? We've got the uh, Civil War muster this weekend. Yes. Cruise night, Friday night. Yes. And the JSO Hollywood Pops concert Friday night. So that's one of my favorite concerts. Mm -hmm. um, and that, is that downtown? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm not, I'm going to miss it, but this is supposed to be spectacular. I heard a little blurb of the music that they're planning to play. It's going to be incredible. And it's free mm -hmm. to the public. August 25th, 7 p.m. Horace Blackman Park. Check it out. We yeah. are, talk about community treasure. Our Jackson Symphony Orchestra is just the bomb. Tremendous. And then the muster, the 36th Civil War muster, Saturday and Sunday at Cascades. And they've got all kinds of great things planned and it's free thanks to trips and it's amazing it's going to be beautiful weather it's going to cool off for the weekend nice luckily for those uh reenactors in that heavy wall and i think our muster is one of the bigger ones isn't it it's the largest in the midwest that's crazy mm -hmm. so i had to get katie's uniform hemmed because <laughs> it just it's too, i don't too talk long, to me about short. the school pants but um <laughs> I went to see the seamstress, Ellen, here in Jackson. She did an amazing job, got it done for me in 24 hours. But I walked in and she had this gorgeous dress on this mannequin. Oh. And it was for the Civil War muster. Oh. And she had like 15 intricate, gorgeous, um, I don't want to call them costumes. They're more like uniforms or, you know, I mean, they're, it, it's the reality of that weekend. But they were beautiful. And she said she she's super into it, but she has um, all kinds of clients that are fired up and getting all their stuff ready to go. But I am glad it's going to mm -hmm. cool down because those uniforms and yeah. then the petticoats for the girls and hopefully Mother Nature will cool them off. How long bit. does it take someone to get ready with all of that uh, can't even petticoats imagine. and a long time? Yeah, a long time. Mm -hmm. Hey, we've got the uh, Extreme Dodge Jackson County Sports scoreboard for you as high school sports is underway. You've got a daughter in volleyball and our Extreme Dodge scoreboard, starting with girls golf. Avery White had a 57 at Sharp Park and uh, Pinckney beat Jackson 194 to 274. In volleyball, the Western Tri meet. Western is now six and one on the season already. School hasn't even started yet, and they're six and one. Abby Nicewander finished the night with 33 kills. Michigan Center over Northwest, three to two. Girls cross country. They shortened the course to 2.1 miles because it was so hot. Okay. Concord won the uh, girls, and Jackson Prep and Early College finished fourth in the boys. Boys soccer, Michigan Center lost to Manchester seven to one. Wow. Uh, and uh, other girls golf, Lumen uh, lost to Allegan. College, we huh. are covering college this year on the Extreme Scoreboard. Nice. Jackson beat Great Lakes Christian two to one, and they shortened that game from 45 minutes uh, per half to 25 minutes due to the high temperature wow. and humidity. And in uh, ladies soccer, uh, Jackson 2, St. Clair Community College 1, Spring Arbor and Cornerstone played to a one-all tie. Here's what we have uh, today on deck. Uh, these are the games that are on tonight. And note, the Jackson game changed from a home game to a game at Monroe. Mm. And they did that yesterday due to the contamination concerns, but we've got the all clear of the game still at Monroe. Okay. And we've got volleyball, cross country, soccer. It's going to be hot for all these kids. Yes. Wow. And then uh, Friday, uh, high school football continues, and it's the season premiere, the 24th season of JTV Sports High School Football, Lumen Christie and Michigan Center, live from Michigan Center at 645 
on Friday. Nice. So tune in. Should be a great game. Hey, this just in from Pat O'Dowd. Pat O'Dowd. Pat O'Dowd. Cooling centers for anybody that needs them. The bus station, the Department on Aging, King Center, and Lifeways. Um, so if you see somebody struggling, somebody that's out in the sun, somebody, you know, we've, we have some of our homeless residents here in town. We want to make sure that they're taken care of. So please pass that along. Bus station, Department on Aging, King Center, and Lifeways. And thank you, Pat O'Dowd, for being awesome. Thanks, Pat. Uh, August 24th, it's an uh, interesting day. It is the day that is the biggest day when American workers call in sick. The number one day all year, August 24th. Is it like Jobby Nooner in Detroit? Do you know what that is? More workers call in sick than any other day of the year. And it's the number one reason, stomach bug. So, sure, it's a stomach yeah. bug. Doesn't have anything to do. It's probably the hottest, sunniest day of the year. <laughs> you know who called in sick today? Who? Brandon. What? Yeah. So who else is in here? Brandon. Brandon, Brandon called in. In he's he's got stomach bug. No, not stomach bug. But he, get better, Brandon. Yes, get better. We miss you. Yes. Thanks and, for being here, T. Uh, Andy and Joy are off today too, but they were planned. To, uh, to be off. Mm -hmm. I think we've got some other people off. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. You and know who's not off? You. And you. Right. We're here. And all our guests are here. We've got yes, a great show. We do. Girl yeah. power. You are going to be engulfed all, all in female today. awesomeness this morning. Who's up first? We have got Angela Madden and Jackie Austin here to kind of recap the hot air um, balloon Jubilee. I don't know why I had a hard time saying that. Elise Houston, one of my favorite people in the whole world. And then Laura Davenport from the Blue Jewel Up. She's got a fun contest going on at her bakery. So, yeah, it's going to be a great show. Maybe they'll bring treats. I hope they brought treats. We'll start with the Jubilee ladies right after this. Brewing Company is the new downtown chill spot with thoughtful beer and killer food. Ogma Brewing Company in downtown Jackson. The Pick Center is an independent practice that has provided care to the Jackson area for over 25 years. Doctors O'Neill and CAC supervise antibiotic infusions, as well as those for many other conditions, such as inflammatory bowel, joint, and lung disease, anemia, and multiple sclerosis. Our modern facility is open seven days a week, and the infusion staff will make you feel right at home. Let your doctor know you have a choice where you receive your next infusion. Remember, when you've picked us, you've picked the best. Miller Shoes in downtown Jackson has been providing comfort since 1913. Johnston & Murphy XC4 Men's Footwear, the ultimate waterproof dress shoe with high-density rubber, sole for durability and comfort. Waterproof leather construction for easy care and protection. Rockport offers the comfort of an athletic shoe with the smart, sophisticated look of a dress and casual style. Our shoes, like your feet, come in a wide variety of widths and sizes, from the very narrow to the very, very wide, from the long to the short. Shop downtown Jackson at Miller Shoes, where our family has been serving yours for over 50 years. If you're looking for a high-quality, affordable alternative to the emergency room, then come to IEP Urgent Care's new location in Jackson. It's the same great ER physicians who have been providing care through our local hospitals since 2008, but now with a new location to serve you better. Our ER-trained providers believe high-quality care is for everyone, so we work with all insurances, including Medicaid and Medicare. Come see us on East Michigan Ave. Our new Express Oil Changes and More building has been a huge success. Not only do we have the best oil change prices, we top off fluids and do a 33-point inspection, all while you enjoy fresh-baked cookies, coffee, and popcorn in our new lounge. This month is our Jeep Freedom Day sales event with special pricing on all new Jeeps. Stop out to Extreme Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Jackson, just off I-94, exit 141, or online at ExtremeDodge.com.
The Cascades has their big Labor Day extravaganza coming up. Fireworks, music, the Alibi Band, as is a tradition, and the Grand Light Show, along with fireworks. It's coming up, not this weekend, next weekend at the Cascades. Mark your calendars now. Yes. Michigan Department of Corrections is hiring. They have openings right now in just about every area, including corrections officers, healthcare, mental health professionals, food service workers, and much more. Great pay and benefits. They'll uh, pay you while they train you. Uh, immediate openings. Uh, visit michigan.gov slash MDOC jobs. Our uh, first guest on the show today from the Hot Air Jubilee, we have chairperson Angela Madden and board treasurer Jackie Austin. Good Hello. morning. Hi, superstars. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, thank you for making our beautiful city even more magnificent yeah. for a, a good week or so, it seemed like. About 10 days. Yeah. 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 It's great. So give us a recap. How, like, now that you've had a minute to take a deep <laughs> breath and reflect, what were some of the highlights? I, I, I love the numbers we got this year. That's so it. we got um, six out of eight flights for the Women's Nationals. We got five out of eight inflations for the Jubilee. Nice. And then we think we had about 20,000 people. Um, nice. So it was great this year to see everybody coming out and enjoying it. And being able to get so many balloons in the air was amazing. <laughs> well, I would like to know the numbers on how many social media posts from oh. people in other parts of the oh. county that just saw balloons and posted these beautiful views. You know, that was absolutely amazing. It's funny because I do tend to watch the insights on our social, right? So, you know, leading up to the event, leading up to Women's Nationals, it was a little static, not much engagement. And as soon as we saw that first balloon in the air Saturday morning, it went through the roof. Oh, yeah. Um, and it was just really exciting and fun to watch the community. We were also able to touch so many different areas of Jackson County thanks to having wi the women's competitors in town yes. and, and kind of moving their competition locations around the county as well. So, competition. So, what does that <laughs> what does that mean? And like, did somebody win? Yes. Okay, tell me about that. Yeah. So, Amanda Broadback um, is our new U.S. national champion. Nice. Uh, women's national champion. Um, so she was crowned. Unfortunately, we didn't get our last flight off, but so Thursday night's um, scores carried over. But in order to compete, the women are given um, target locations, okay. typically through a GPS location, yep. and their job is to fly to it, to navigate to it, okay. and to utilize their skills as pilots to use the winds, the different directions at different altitudes, um, and to get there. And then they have one of two options. If it's a physical target on the ground, they have a baggie, an eight ounce baggie with a three foot tail on it. They have to throw that baggie closest to the center of the X. Okay. If not, it's a, it's a virtual marker. So they say, I'm gonna fly to this intersection and I'm gonna click a button on my GPS when I get there. Wow. Closest person to that designated target gets the most points again. So is it is it timed or is it most accurate or? It's a little bit of both. Okay. So the targets usually have closing times associated okay. with them, meaning they have to get their equipment set up, get in the air and fly to that target before the target closes. Got it. Um, and then continue on. You know, there's usually multiple targets per day. Okay. So uh, it was kind of hard to follow. Uh, it was because, you know, there wasn't a mass launch, right. there wasn't a, uh, anywhere where they were all landing at, uh, people knew ahead of time. So you kind of had to just keep your eyes uh, to the sky to really see what was. Yeah, yeah, we tried to give everybody on the social media like an idea of where to at least look, what direction yeah. to look in. But honestly, with the competition, we don't know where they're gonna be flying. Uh, the, the way it works is the competition directors starting at like three or four in the morning oh. are figuring out where the winds are coming from figuring out where those targets are gonna lay out. Makes sense. Five o'clock, they're telling people, you know, telling the pilots and the um, scoring teams where to go, and then by six o'clock, they're in the air. Okay. So we don't know. <laughs> are they coming back? They are coming they back. Are Yay! Really? Yes. yes. They are so coming excited. back. Uh, the women were wonderful competitors. They really enjoyed. Jackson did, did us proud. You know, they were so excited. Uh, the women are so excited to come back. They had a great flying experience while they were here. The nice. residents, the landowners, the local businesses really treated them oh. like, you know, the professional pilots that they are and, you know, the, the queens that they are um, <laughs> in the air. So it's it's going to be great to have them back. How many pilots were there? So we had 15 wow. um, pilots flying in 2023. We are already looking at expanding the field because of the popularity of the well, event. Why don't you do it? You could be in the women's <laughs> championship. Maybe I will. <laughs> I, I don't know that I could hone that skill well enough to compete between now. We're trying to get Angela to compete. Between now and are, do you, are you a pilot? I am. Yeah. Serious? Yeah. You have to do 
<laughs> we'll see. It's a lot of work on the ground too. Yeah, so sure. yeah. 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 Well, you shared something with us. You guys have a lot of responsibility. You work on this all year. Yep. I stalk Jackie on social media <laughs> and I watched her travel across the country to really mm -hmm. learn more and be prepared to have the best benefit or um, event possible. You guys are volunteers. Correct. Yes. There's no paid staff. That's no correct. Paid staff. You yeah. mentioned that 20,000 people came to town <laughs> to yeah. visit that. So the, the economic impact it's for huge. the community was huge. And yes. you guys are doing this mm -hmm. for the love of the sport? Love correct. of the sport, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And the love of the community, yeah. Yeah. honestly, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. you just announced last week uh, some new uh, people, some changes on the board. Yeah, absolutely. So we've added um, three new board members, so we're really excited. These are all longtime volunteers with the organization um, and it's now it's going to be great to really get their input kind of in that more honed in um, space with the board of directors so joining us uh, ashley fall who was involved in the jubilee before um, and she took some time off and is now back um, megan smith uh, and um, nicole siegel are all joining us on the board so it'll be it'll be great to have their input now moving forward for 2024 which sequel? Nicole. <laughs> Nicole, because <laughs> Chad's been part of it. <laughs> Chad and David both have yeah. been involved. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Yep. Uh, Chad and David, they took me on my first uh, hot air balloon rides. Oh, oh where'd you go? go? Uh, straight up. <laughs> so, <laughs> straight up, straight yeah. down. <laughs> One time, it was straight up. We were at the Napoleon Airport. There was no wind. We went up, <laughs> yeah. sat there for an hour. <laughs> Did not move and came right Oh, back. my gosh. <laughs> the, for the crew, that's the best type of flight. For the yeah. pilot, that's the, have to yeah. move. For the pilot, that's the worst flight. Yeah. 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 So what feedback do you have for the community, or how can the community better support the event and help you guys prepare for next year? I think uh, we had so much great support this year. We like we put out a call for uh, possible target locations. How okay. many? I mean, we got so many submissions, yeah. um, and there's specific parameters that we were looking for, and we got so many great options. We had this really long list we could give to the national competitor or the national um, directors to say, okay, pick any of these, nice. <laughs> and that was amazing. So we'd love to see that again. Um, obviously, financial support is always huge. Our sponsorships, our budget, having the women's our budget doubles. Yeah. So um, bringing in those sponsorships and we had some major sponsors step up and really help us out this year. Nice. So we love that. And then uh, we're always looking for volunteers. I mean, this is a, it's a tough volunteer crew because if you're on crew, you have to be up at like 4 a.m. Yeah. and <laughs> getting out and all that kind of fun stuff. Not, so. not just uh, balloons. You had all kinds of things going on at we the did, park. Yeah. Yep. Uh, some added features this year. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We added inflatables this year, which was really great for the kids. So we try to have a really good variety of free activities and then vendors you can uh, um, support as well. And this year we added the inflatables thanks to some really great sponsors. We were able to make those free to the community. Nice. We also um, added a Jeep show Friday night. Yes. So we oh. doubled the size of the car show, which uh -huh. was phenomenal. So oh, for wow. Jeep enthusiasts out there, they were able to come out and show off their Jeeps on Friday. So. Yeah. Oh, it's, so cool. It's really fun. And the, I feel like the event, we've um, taken the last few years to kind of fine tune it and really yeah. focus on the balloons. And so now we're able to add in some of these extra little fun things that, nice. that we can have the have for the community while they're waiting for the balloons to go up. Look at all those vendors. I know. And food trucks. <laughs> yep. I mean, it's a whole day. It, it's, it's not quite a whole yeah. day. We open the park at three. Um, you know, we do want to make sure that that focus stays right on, you know, the balloons, the balloons themselves, right? And flight windows usually are between 6.30, 7.30, okay. sometime, you know, about an hour and a half to two hours before sunset okay. um, is our best experience, so. You got some good weather too. Uh, Knock this on year. wood. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the weather has been phenomenal for the last two years, and we couldn't have asked. You know, in 22, we got five out of eight inflations. Last year, 23, we also got five out of eight inflations. Nice. So we couldn't have asked for better weather, you know, two years in a row. Yeah. So, especially after a long string of bad weather <laughs> preceding yes. these last two. Yeah. yeah. Well, we appreciate you guys continuing the effort because I'm sure you get some bad weather and the events not what you want it to be. It's probably frustrating to yeah. Well, I think look ahead. I think um, the community is great at understanding. We're, we try to do a lot of education. Angela's on the Facebook <laughs> all the time doing videos about here's why okay. we're making the decisions we're making. Um, so, and that has helped a lot. Um, the community has been great. They still come out. We had some rain during Saturday's event this year, and I was just sitting there watching all these people just hanging out in the rain. Oh. Oh, nice. waiting to see if the balloons would go up. Yeah. So. And the pilots want to fly yes. too, right? Yeah. They don't want to yeah. sit there with their equipment packed away in their trucks. Mm -hmm. So we do everything that we can. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, thanks for the great job you and all your volunteers yes. and sponsors yeah. and pilots and crew did this year. <laughs> yes. 
Well, we um, also, you know, not only do we have the dates for next year, okay. so July 19, 20, and 21, I believe, with the women's nationals preceding that, so July 15th through 20, um, but also very excitingly are able to announce that Trips Auto and Collision has signed on to continue to be Yay! our title sponsor yes. for the next several oh, years. So, nice. yeah, really excited about that. They're a wonderful community partner for us. Wonderful. Absolutely. Yes. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate yeah. it. Jackie Austin, <laughs> Angela Madden with the Hot Air Jubilee. More of the morning show after this. Your new ride is waiting for you at Avenue Auto. We've been giving Jackson great deals on pre-owned vehicles for 27 years. With 80 or more vehicles on the lot, each with a free warranty, we're your family-owned and operated choice in Jackson. What am I going to do when something else breaks down? My stove? My furnace? My plumbing? America's preferred home warranty is here for you. When a major home system or appliance fails, our award-winning customer service can help you protect your investment and your wallet. Call APHW now. Within the folds of your life, you find the passion and drive to keep pushing forward. Growth comes from continually moving ahead in every stage of life. Count on County National Bank to help with seamless financial solutions. We can act quickly and accommodate your needs, whatever life brings your way. Our local bankers understand our community and your goals. Let's work together. Learn more about our personalized banking services at cnbb.bank, member FDIC. You never think about a good tow truck service until you really need one. Jimmy's Towing and Auto Repair in Jackson will be there for you in a flash. Our technologically advanced GPS software enables us to pinpoint your location and dispatch the closest truck to assist you in no time. Jimmy's has the largest towing and rescue truck fleet in the area, and we have the right equipment for any towing need. When you need help in a flash, call Jimmy's. Jimmy's Towing and Repair in Jackson. Improving the air quality in your home is Uh, oh, today's show is being brought to you by Vermeulen's, Vermeulen's Home Furnishings. They have uh, incredible deals right now as we approach the end of summer. Stop by and support and uh, check out this uh, great selection at this three-generation family-owned company. Vermeulen's on West Michigan Avenue. Smells good in here, doesn't it? It does. It smells like bacon. It does smell like <laughs> bacon. And with that, I want to introduce one of my favorite people in the world, at least Houston, with Sylvia's Catering. Welcome. Thank you so much. So great to be here. Yeah. Bart, what a great surprise. I mean, Andy, we miss you if you're watching. But That's a great to surprise you, you, for me, the too. OG. <laughs> well, OG. I just found out yesterday Andy wasn't going to be here. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so, Elise, I think anybody that knows me knows that I love you and Allison and everything that you do, but I also love bacon. You do. <laughs> and we had, what we brought today, Allison had you in mind for all of it. Your two favorite food groups. So Let's we talk are all about aware. it. Let's talk about it. Shrimp and bacon. So we made two appetizers that included that. Oh my gosh. Breakfast appetizers. My favorite awesome. thing. Awesome. Yeah. All right, so what do we got? Okay. So before I explain what we have, when we create menu options or ideas or appetizers for weddings, we take a few things into consideration. So nostalgia is always a big part of it. Mm -hmm. um, 
seasonal local ingredients and whenever we can incorporate. So we have a BLT, a mini BLT with new ski bacon, which is a nice mm. thick cut bacon, uh, tomatoes from the Napoleon farm stand, oh. nice brioche bread. So this is nostalgia for us. It's a great yes. summer sandwich. So when you're at a wedding, oftentimes there's obviously family and friends from your childhood. So you bite into that and you just feel good, obviously. Oh, and it's yeah. simple and, um, you know, really great ingredients. And then we have a pesto shrimp and cheese tortellini <gasps> skewer. So that just screams summer. Yes. And the cheese tortellini is a play on yeah. my childhood because I grew up eating it daily. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just pop it, pop <laughs> for it breakfast. Cheese yeah. tortellini, I was all about it. Uh, so yeah, that's what we have for you today. Well, it definitely is BLT season right now. Yeah, yeah. the tomatoes are prime right now. You mentioned the Napoleon farm stand. Um, hopefully everybody will get out there and buy their fresh produce. They've had two thefts. In, I mean, just heartbreaking. This past week where people have gone out and cut off their money what? backs and taken it twice in the last week. So whoever you are, we're coming for you. Stop it. And everybody else, get out there and support this incredible family and their delicious produce. We go there daily. Yeah. Daily and just scoop up as much as we can get. So right now the produce on that stand, and there's one in Brooklyn as well, um, it's just incredible. So we use it as often as we can. So when you and Allison um, moved back to Michigan and you recruited Allison to become a Michigander, uh, you really have made a huge impact, not just with your business, but with your philanthropy. We were just talking, she's on the board at Ella Sharp. I don't know when you have time to do that. You've never said no to me ever on anything I've asked We never for. will. That's good. Do you hear that, everybody? <laughs> uh, they don't say no to anybody, but also the local resources. Um, you know, you are, you're making a big financial impact by working locally. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. As often as we can, there are so many great farmers and vendors and local options in our area, which is incredible, especially in the summertime for produce. But we have partnered with Lane View Farms um, and Ridge and Lindsay Meckley, they are just incredible to work with and their product, their beef is, you know, exceptional. So we've started partnering with them to use their beef for weddings and other events. Um, but yes, as often as we can, we shop local. All right. So you'll do events anywhere. Mm -hmm. What are some of your favorite venues? Oh, well, we have a few photos from our, uh, this is from Wester's uh, family winery and vineyard in Rives Junction, formerly known as Black Barn. We do a significant amount of weddings and events there, so they are an incredible local venue. Uh, right here, this is Allison in our shop in Napoleon getting ready for a wedding tasting. The tasting the room. The tasting room. This is where it all starts. This is where we get you in. So if you are planning a wedding in 24 or 25, we're booking right now, um, we'll bring you in for a complimentary tasting. Nice. This is also um, Western's family winery uh, incredible uh, venue beautiful landscape wow so, yeah it's beautiful that place is gorgeous inside it really and out. really is oh my favorite <laughs> this, uh, this is a cheese and charcuterie display that we have for cocktail hour it's all the rage it's all the rage it is all the rage oh, oh look, look at, at that this bride. Bride. Yes. Oh. this is ashley wellman uh, they got married in May, and they had a taco bar, which oh, is man. you know, just I'm really, awesome. I thought I was going to get uh, invited to their wedding. And what happened? <laughs> She's did. watching right now. She is actually. I, I can't believe uh, Andrew. I, I, I just. <laughs> I was looking forward to I it. I see the heartbreak in your eyes. I had a gift Mark. and everything. Oh, oh my gosh. Man. And you sent it back. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't get to enjoy the taco bar. No. no. Well, once I saw the pictures of what I missed, then I was even more disappointed. <laughs> Oh, oh no. <laughs> um, speaking of bars, oh here, tell. Oh yeah, so this is Ridge and Lindsay of Lane View Farms delivering their meat. They are just the best. So happy, so awesome to work for. They're getting married pretty soon. Unfortunately, we were booked, so we won't be catering their wedding, Aww. but they are such incredible people. Nice. Um, okay, we said charcuterie board. You did something for an event recently that I loved, and it was like a bagel bar. Yes, smoked like, salmon. So Allison smokes, house smokes sides of salmon, and we pair that with um, bagels and a variety of cream cheese and bacon, of course, capers, all the toppings. <laughs> oh yeah, Allison told me, do not put this on camera today, but she made Jennifer a little care package. I, just, I gotta show oh. you this bacon. <laughs> I mean, I said, what is so special about this bacon? She said, she just makes it with love. It is the best bacon in the world. I'll wait a minute to take a bite, okay. but yeah. check that out. Go ahead, take a bite of it. It smells right. great. Okay, mm. twist yeah. my arm. Okay. 
Mm-mm. Are you going to share with Bart? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, okay. Mm-mm. Oh, no, here you go. Check that out. This is the best bacon made with sheer love. It's new skis? It's new skis. New skis bacon. It's delicious skis. It's delicious. <laughs> delicious skis. I love delicious it. Delicious skis. Um, so, but your bagel bar, you undersold it because you're so humble. But we're talking like fresh English cucumbers and radish and red onion and capers and all the things that you could ever want. I'm not even that big of a bagel eater. I ate like four of them and made everyone a little bit different. So such a unique thing to do in the morning. Uh, you guys have done breakfast sandwiches for morning events, breakfast burritos. Um, I think as employers, we're always looking at ways to let our employees know that we're grateful for them and appreciate all the extra effort. Treat them to Sylvia's for Absolutely. breakfast. Absolutely. Absolutely, breakfast, yeah. So we can, we'll customize breakfast menus based on what you're looking for and your team's needs and wants. Um, yeah, absolutely. Breakfast, lunch, we love to cater for your team. Holiday parties, do you have dates uh, open for holiday bookings? So, yes, yeah. December, we are booking right now strong. So if you're having, Just look at me. <laughs> if you're having a holiday party, um, but please, you know, give us a call. We'd love to host. Will you be doing Thanksgiving dinners this year? We will be, yes. So we will they be doing fantastic. Thanksgiving dinners. Um, that menu will be out shortly. And uh, yeah, Thanksgiving holiday parties, wedding tastings, reach out, let us know. All right. well, I think the, the food's awesome, but what you really have stepped up uh, is the presentation, uh, how you lay it out for a buffet or a charcuterie board. It looks like hours and hours of design and work and prep and cooking go into everything you do. It works Thank smart. you. They are, and you honestly do. I mean, I know it sounds cliche, but you eat with your eyes first. So we want, at a wedding, you know, you have a buffet, and that buffet can just be a, a standard buffet, or you can elevate it, and when your guests arrive, or they get super excited, and it, their mouth starts watering, and they get excited for what's to come, and that's our goal. Well, that picture of Ashley at her own wedding, she was more excited about the food, you could tell, in her eyes and in her face. And usually the bride, you ask them what they had for their uh, wedding and they can't remember the food. Yeah. That yeah. picture is my favorite and it's framed and in our tasting room right now because oh. I want couples to see her reaction. Yeah. It just is exactly what we're yeah. looking for. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. And Look a, at that happy bride. bride. And a reaction. So, uh, yeah, this is one of our favorites. Yeah, the beautiful venue, the it's County th- Tower Building. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. What a brave bride eating tacos in her Oh, she was dress. all about it. Cheese and... Uh, and chips also, yeah, it was a fun menu. Everyone loved it. Uh, that was a good one. I love your pickles, onions. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for being here. Yeah. Thank you for the tasty treats. You know I'm going to mow on Of those. course, absolutely. But most of all, thank you for everything that you do for the community and just making the world a better place. Oh, thank you so much. Elise Teaston with Sylvia's Catering. Check her out. Stay tuned. More of the morning show after this. Join Spring Arbor University as we celebrate 150 years of Christ-centered education at our sesquicentennial gala on September 9th, featuring special guest The Newsboys. This formal attire event includes a catered reception, three-course dinner, music by the Arbor Jazz Cats, giveaways, and an intimate one-of-a-kind concert featuring Dove Award-winning group The Newsboys. Purchase your tickets to Spring Arbor University's Sesquicentennial Gala today at SAU150.org. Greetings. My name is Maurice Imhoff, and I want to invite you to this year's Jackson Civil War Muster, which will take place on August 26th and 27th here at the Cascades Park. Enjoy the historical music of Camp Chase Fife and Drums, along with the battles at 2 p.m. each day. This year, you won't want to miss the extravagant All-American Military Ball and fireworks at the beautiful Cascade Falls Saturday night. Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you there. Asthma Allergy Centers can help you breathe freely. Since 1980, our board-certified specialists have provided testing and treatment for a wide variety of asthma and allergy-related conditions, including immunodeficiencies and skin problems. No referrals are necessary, and we accept any insurance or no insurance. You can even use our mobile app to check in and pay. Come see us at our Jackson office or one of our multiple offices in Southwest Michigan. At Consumers Energy, we believe change is preparing. Preparing for the worst by putting to work the very best. Change is improving. 
by replacing utility poles and redesigning our substations. Change is commitment. Commitment to upgrading 1,000 miles of our energy grid every year. And change is confidence. The confidence of knowing when it comes to keeping the lights on, we are always on. Consumers Energy, a force for you, a force of change. The secret is out. Jackson is a great place to live, work, and raise a family. We are people with community pride, school spirit, and deep roots. The secret is out. Jackson has great parks, home to some of the best golf in the country, and boasts more lakes than you can count. With unique, locally owned shops and restaurants, we have a little something for everyone. Hey, Jackson, the secret is out. The Heather Herndon team with Howard Hanna Real Estate Services, serving the Jackson community since 2005. At Hometown Heating, Cooling, and More, we know how important We've got uh, some fun entertainment this weekend uh, at Swingin' at the Shell in Albion. They've got the music of Shania Twain, Ooh. performed by Kate Rose and band. That's Sunday night, free, 6 o'clock at uh, Victory Park in beautiful Albion. And also we've got uh, entertainment at Cherry Creek, and that happens Friday and Saturday. They bring in food trucks, great bands. John Those Good uh, is one of the performers this weekend. Visit uh, cherrycookcoin.com. Thanks to Visit Lenaway. Ah, what a great weekend we're going to have here in Jackson. Mm -hmm. and we are going to keep the deliciousness going here on the morning show. We have got sweet Laura Davenport from the Blue Julep across the street here to talk to us about all the deliciousness happening over oh, the Blue Julep. Thanks, Jennifer. Appreciate it. Good so, morning. Hi, how are you all doing? Good. Good. I, I feel like this morning we could just call it the, the community treasure chest oh. <laughs> of people that are investing in downtown and making it so incredible in, in Jackson as a whole. So thank you for having the cutest storefront. Oh, thanks. Downtown. I love it. I love it downtown um, and especially the new location. And we've been there over a year now. Wow. What? So talk to me about that difference. So you just moved over like around the corner. Around the corner. What did that mean for your business? Uh, the, the, Foot traffic is so different. Yeah. Uh, I would say every week we have someone come in the shop and say, how long have you been here? And we'll say, well, we've been here for over a year, but we were around the corner for five and a half. And they never knew we existed. No kidding. It's, it's crazy, but yeah. Yeah. It's great. Could be our town slogan. I had no idea this was here. Yeah. <laughs> it could be. Yeah. <laughs> So you are doing something really fun at the bakery for um, really anyone to get involved, really, the kids really. in particular. Right, right. So we just celebrated our birthday in May, but we did nothing to celebrate it. Okay. So this is a way for us to celebrate. Um, uh, so we're doing a cake, uh, design your own birthday cake nice. contest. And so we're having, uh, it's really designed for kids 4 to 14. Really, if you can draw, you can Or bar. Or bar. Uh, so if they come and pick up this template, they can draw on it their idea of what they want their birthday cake to look like. And we're gonna do the drawing, uh, well, we're, we're accepting all these templates, I think the deadline's uh, September 13th. Okay. We're gonna pick a winner the 22nd of September. Um, now, if your birthday is like tomorrow, we really are not sticklers about the date. We yeah. just wanna do, do something fun. Yeah. So yeah, that's what this is all about. And what do they win? We will design that cake for them. Seriously? We will try to design that cake for them. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've seen one of your submissions. That one might be a little I tricky. I know, I know. So, yeah, so, and it's okay for parents to help in terms of we need descriptions to explain what the decorations are. Um, we, we need some other information. We have all the rules on Facebook. Okay. So, yeah. And they got to come into the shop to pick up have the to template? Come the, yes. I mean, they, if, they, if they can figure out how to download it and print it, that's fine, too. Okay. Um, so, as long as it looks like this. So. All yeah. right. Awesome. What else is going on at the Blue Julep? Uh, well, we are exhausted at the Blue Julep because yesterday we baked off and decorated a thousand cupcakes. What? what? Yes. So, yeah, I'm a little haggard this morning. I saw the boxes yes. in there. Yes. What, for a big event? Or? It's actually a local orthodontist. Um, she, um, it's like a back to school event, not event, a, a thank you to teachers Aww. at the elementary ed schools. 
hopefully they're all getting delivered, um, but some of the schools I think are closed because of the heat. So I don't know. All I know is I got my part of it done. <laughs> yeah. And somehow I walked into her shop, what, 24 hours ago, 36 hours ago, and said, hey, can you make me a bunch of cookies for Friday mornings live at the lab? Mm. And she said, I don't, yeah, no, yes, I will do it. And you brought them here today. Yes, I can't believe you uh, yes. added that to your workload. Yeah, Thank you so, so much. I hope you like them. So. Yeah. What's in the boxes? So, okay, so we do have some cupcakes that I brought over. Now these, this is something that not a lot of people realize that we do or that we offer. These are actually our yesterday's cupcakes. Okay. So what we do is we wrap them up nice and tight at the end of the day, and then we sell them for a dollar off. Oh, nice. So these cupcakes, in my I mean, opinion, they're just as good as the today's cupcakes. So. Okay. So just so you know. So do you have these out, or do we have to have like a secret password to get yesterday's There's no passwords? secret password. They are out. They're on a big tray. They're all um, on the same tray. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll go through all the different flavors with yeah. you. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Beautiful. So. Which one do you think? Uh, I like the looks of that one with the pecans on it. What are the Is that pecans? like a German? We is? have Italian cream. That's the German chocolate. We have red velvet, carrot, chocolate, chocolate, and yeah. peanut butter chocolate. Carrot. Yum. Mm -hmm. I have. What's the one that you have with the nut butter on top? That's our Miss Linda. That is named after. She was my first employee. She volunteered in the beginning. Dear friend. Aww. This was her recipe. Oh my god. So I named it after her. What was this one? That one is. That's carrot. Carrot, carrot cake. Good carrot old cake. fashioned carrot. That's one of our more popular flavors. It goes good with bacon. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. What doesn't go well with bacon? You, you taste Cheers. that and I'll taste this. <laughs> Mm, and that looks good. And you got oh, one? these are, these are, no, these are, your cookies are back there. But okay. Oh, your cookies. I've got the no-bakes, the Bart no-bakes, and oh, I was yeah, like, have my favorite no-bakes. So, you know what? I think I know what the secret to your no-bake is. Okay. There's cinnamon in it. You know, you are not the first person to say that, but What's no. in it? There's not cinnamon in it? No. What is it that? It's probably our vanilla extract that we use. It's a Mexican okay. pure uh, vanilla extract. So. Okay. I really don't want to know what's in a no-bake cookie, and I don't want to know how they're made either. No, nope, you just want no. to enjoy them. Yeah. It's all about yeah. timing with no-bake. And the funny thing is, is that's my favorite cookie, which yeah. I think is funny because it's no-bake. Yeah, no-bake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what's yeah. your favorite cupcake? Oh, that depends on the day. If I'm in a chocolate mood, it's usually chocolate, chocolate. Okay. I love that. I love peanut butter chocolate. Uh, I like German, too. I love uh, anything with coconut, um, but like berries and cream. Oh, nice. Sometimes I can't stay out of the red velvet. Mm. Yeah. Laura likes anything with Kentucky bourbon in it, too. This no, is that, true. Yeah. <laughs> She's a good woman. Elise was talking a lot about um, special events, mm -hmm. holiday parties, and weddings coming up. Mm -hmm. How quickly should somebody that has an event get in touch with you? We, we, uh, normally, we tell people you can't get on our calendar too early. Okay. Um, so we're booking into 2024 for sure. Oh, wow. um, certain things require more time. Those sh sugar cookies, we're really not taking orders until October for those. Okay. So um, it, it really depends on the date. It's always in interesting to me that everyone throws a party on the same weekend. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, we're starting to book into Christmas and definitely next year. Wonderful. So, yeah. Uh, when are you uh, open? Uh, we get that question a yes, lot. Yes, yes. Yeah. And we just changed our hours a little bit. We are open Tuesdays uh, through Friday, uh, 11 to 3, except Fridays we ch just changed. Now we're open until 6. Nice. We're going to do that for as long as we can. It's going to really depend on staffing. Okay. Uh, and then Saturdays, 10 to 1. Okay. Now, Google says something else. I cannot figure out how to change Google. Okay. So. Great. Thanks for coming across the street. Oh, thank you. Yes, thank yeah. you so much. And thanks for the treats. Uh, Laura Davenport from The Blue Julep in downtown Jackson. The morning show continues after this. Since 1918, Emmons Service has been an integral part of the Jackson area. Call 787-8710. Emmons Service. Our business is picking up. The Green Market at Henry Ford and its many vendors want to thank our wonderful patrons for their many years of support. And we look forward to seeing you all again soon in the lot across Michigan Avenue from Henry Ford Health. The Green Market, providing you and your family with healthy, fresh food. I use my brain power to help kids realize theirs. I am Henry. When Tyler got his new heart, ours became whole again. We are Henry. 
I'm a bike rider and a rare cancer survivor. I am Henry. I'm a patient from point A to point B. I am Henry. I am Henry. I am Henry. When you found your inner believer and all-around conqueror, you found your Henry. If you're looking for a high-quality, affordable alternative to the emergency room, then come to IEP Urgent Care's new location in Jackson. It's the same great ER physicians who have been providing care through our local hospitals since 2008, but now with a new location to serve you better. Our ER-trained providers believe high-quality care is for everyone, so we work with all insurances, including Medicaid and Medicare. Come see us on East Michigan Ave. Collins Brothers Floor Covering has been serving the Jackson community for over 80 years. We specialize in residential and commercial projects and offer a full range of flooring materials from carpet to luxury vinyl. With endless colors, styles, and patterns to choose from, we can complement the look of any room. Quality products at the best value and customer satisfaction are guaranteed when you choose Collins Brothers Floor Covering. Contact Collins Brothers Floor Covering and see how we can personalize your project today. Family owned and operated make professional tree care your choice when it comes to your property. Our certified arborists will examine your landscape and handle all your trimming and maintenance needs. From tree removal to tree trimming and stump grinding to lock clearing, PTC gets the job done. Professional tree care is proud to serve members of the Jackson community using cutting edge equipment and your satisfaction is our guarantee. Visit us online at ptcjackson.com or call 517-499-2820. Welcome back to the morning show. Do you play pickleball? Not yet. Well, you might soon because on Monday, it's the grand opening of Jackson County's Pickleball Court. Woo! The Hearst Foundation Pickleball Complex at the Cascades opens Monday at 10 a.m. And the ribbon cutting and people will be giving demonstrations on how to play, there will be food. And you will see this place packed from dawn till dusk forever. I'm worried about, I do want to learn. But yeah. I feel like there's going to be pressure to there perform. Is. Yeah? Yeah. Do they take it pretty dead serious? Well, it is. I, I mean, it's a very, it's, very, it's a big spectator sport. Yeah. It's on, there's TV leagues and everything. Well, I'm going to go be a spectator on Monday. So what are you doing this weekend? I am, as soon as I leave here, I'm heading to Marquette and taking my godson to college. Oh, wow. Up in northern Michigan. So, and I hear there's some colors up there. Huh? Already? Mm -hmm. Colors? That's what I hear. Oh, my gosh. Well, safe travels, and we'll see you back here next week. I'm hoping to be back in time to go to Albion for that concert Sunday night. Oh, cool. Well, that's it. We've run out of time. Thanks to uh, all our guests today, and especially for the ones that brought food. Yes. <laughs> uh, later today, we hope you can join us. We will be taking a ride with Consumers Energy CEO Garrick Rochow in his all-electric F-150 Ford Lightning. Oh. Yeah, so that'll be cool. Check that out and so much more. We'll see you at 1 o'clock. Bye-bye.